have a review for you on some of the new Mac Fix Pluses that they have recently released. So over, I think, the past week, Mac released some new flavors of Fix Plus. Fix Plus is one of my all-time favorite Mac items. I have dry skin, so any kind of refreshing mist is totally up my alley. I really enjoy Fix Plus because it helps take the powderiness look of my makeup away, as well as it just refreshes my makeup throughout the day if I'm wearing something that's maybe drying out my skin or I'm testing something out that's drying out my skin and my skin feels really parched or can kind of look a little bit cakey, I will spray Fix Plus on my makeup just to refresh it. I don't necessarily use Fix Plus as a setting spray because it doesn't really set. I find that if anything it kind of just makes it a little bit more dewy. I don't think that Fix Plus has the correct ingredients in it to be a really strong setting spray. It might help hold your makeup on but I don't think it helps sets or prolongs the wear of your makeup. I think it's just more designed to add a little bit of moisture and sort of to take out some of the powderiness out of your makeup. However, I don't have oily skin and my makeup never really moves around much so I guess I could consider this more of a setting spray but it kind of just depends on your skin type. If you have more of an oily skin, I definitely would probably not recommend this as a setting spray, more as a refresher or just to take out some of the powderiness away from your makeup. Where if you have dry skin, it might help solidify that makeup onto your face rather than just letting it sit on top. So normally Fix Plus comes in one flavor, it's just the regular flavor. It smells like MAC to me. I don't know how else to describe it but just giving it that refresh Max smell and they do come in new bottles now this is an older bottle that I had as a backup and I'm just trying to use up so I can get the new bottle Mac has released some flavors in the fix plus previously in some limited edition collections I have the fix plus rose I still have this this came out probably in like 2009 or many many years ago I don't know if it was that old but I have this only because I broke the cap of it so it doesn't spray out correctly. So I'm waiting to finish one of these so I can pour it in or maybe I'll just get rid of it. I'm not sure. I don't have very much left. But when this came out, this was all the craze and I do really enjoy it. I feel like the rose scent is a really nice sort of refreshing mist and a nice change to the Fix Plus. I never found that it irritated my skin having that rose scent to it. I'm not sure if it claims to have like rose essence in it or if it's just rose fragrance but I never found it irritated my skin and I almost preferred it more than the Fix Plus although once I broke it and I went back to the Fix Plus I wasn't as upset not to have it anymore but I just really enjoyed the scent of the Rose Fix Plus. So recently MAC has come out with several other scents. I believe there's a total of five scents. You have the lavender one which I picked up, another rose one which I picked up, a coconut one again uh, what I picked up. They also came out with a cucumber one and a yuzu one. The yuzu one smells very citrusy and the cucumber Cucumber one pretty much just smells straight up cucumber. I'm not a huge fan of cucumber scents. I enjoyed it when I sprayed it in the store, but I felt like I would get really sick of it because cucumber scents can get really overpowering for me. So I decided to skip on that one. And Yuzu, I don't know. I liked it, but I was buying three. I was like, I do not need four different Fix Pluses. And I was hoping that they wouldn't be limited edition, but I think that they might be. I'm not 100% sure. I tried to do some research, but I couldn't really find any information out there. Some people are saying they're limited edition. If I find that out, I will definitely leave it in the description below. But overall, I was really happy that the rose one was re-released. The rose scent on this one is a really nice sort of light rose scent. Nothing too florally, nothing that makes me sneeze or has too much fragrance to it. And I just really enjoy the rose fragrance. I feel like it's just really refreshing. The new bottle looks a little bit different. As you can see, it's almost pink tinged. I think that the bottle is actually a pink colored and not the Fix Plus because when you move it around, the bottle kind of still looks pink, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The bottle is a little bit frosted now, and it feels a little bit thicker or heavier. Almost like it's glass, but it's not glass. It is plastic, but you can see the difference in the bottles. I like the new version of the bottles. I think it's just a nice refreshing change, and I like the frostedness to it. I feel like it's really pretty, and the added aspect of having it pink is really nice. I'm really excited to put them out on my vanity and have them look really pretty. The lavender one has almost like a blue or light purple tinge to it when you see it compared to the rose one. 
the lavender one was also released previously in a limited edition collection. I never picked it up at the time. I'm not like a crazy lavender scent, but when I sprayed this in the store, I felt like it was really nice. The lavender was a really nice light lavender without being too florally or almost too like herb scent. It was a really nice refreshing lavender scent. And as I said, I picked up the coconut one, which I think is actually my new favorite. I love coconut scented anything. Anything that smells like the beach or smells like a pina colada or smells really coconutty is totally up my alley. So when I saw that they had a coconut one, I definitely wanted to pick it up. I was looking on their website and I did notice that the coconut one was the only one that was out of stock. So I guess that most people think the same way I do, but it smells really refreshing. It's a really nice coconut scent. And I feel like putting this one in the fridge or putting any of them in the fridge would be really refreshing on a hot summer day. And I feel like the coconut one would be really nice to take to the beach just to be a really nice refresher in the hot sun. And the coconut one is a little bit like yellow or orangey tone. It kind of reminds me of urine, but not really. You kind of just have to get past that and just remember that it's a really nice coconut scent and it doesn't look yellow, but I really like it. I still think that all three of these would be really pretty just to display because they all have that tinge to them. I really hope that these are not limited edition. I really enjoy any kind of setting spray or any kind of spray that refreshes your makeup and Fix Plus is one of my favorites. So it's really nice to have that variation in scents. So after I finish these bottles, I can go back and purchase what flavor I want to. One thing I forgot to mention was the price of these. In Canada, they retail for $26 and in the States, they retail for $22, which is relatively inexpensive for the amount of products you get and for sort of like a setting spray or a facial mist. Something like the Caudalie setting spray or something like the Urban Decay sprays are up in the $30 to $50 range depending on what size you get. So it can get a little bit expensive over time. So these are a really nice value for money when you compare them to some of the other setting sprays on the market. Overall, I would recommend for you to run out immediately and check to see if any of your Mac stores have any of the scents left. I think that any of the scents, even the Cucumber and the Yuzu would be a really nice addition to any kind of makeup collection, especially if you like facial mists. They are all really nice scents and I really enjoy the different variety of flavors. I hope you all have enjoyed this review on all of the new flavors that MAC has released of their Fix Plus. If you've tried any of these, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe because I will be doing lots of upcoming review videos. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.